Everyone in their lives will experience probably moments of severe anxiety. And that's the first step on the road to having an attack. So it might look something like this. He's clasping his hands, he's looking around, but there's not a lot of visible external signs that he's really losing control. Zando, how are you feeling inside your own head? So I can feel my, my heart pounding, my chest is getting tighter, my hands are sweating, and all of those things are making me feel worse. At this stage, you may be able to get the panic under control, either by moving to a different place or speak to someone and feel a bit better. But you may not, and that's when the panic can get out of control and become a full-blown panic attack. <sighs> so as Zand becomes more panicky, his body releases the adrenaline and those hormones start to make his heart pound, his breathing rate increase. And that makes his body feel physically very bad. That, in turn, increases the level of panic, and so Zahn gets into a vicious cycle that he is unable to control. Anxiety or panic attacks happen because you've lost control of your breathing. You try to breathe in deeper and more quickly than normal. Overbreathing or hyperventilating causes a decrease in the amount of carbon dioxide in your blood, leaving you with too much oxygen and making you feel dizzy. Hyperventilation can also give you chest pains because it causes blood vessels in your body to constrict. Add to this the fact that the release of adrenaline has made your heart pump out blood faster and you've got sharp stabbing pains that feel like a heart attack. And that makes you panic even more. And that's when someone needs a bit of help. I know you're feeling terrible, but everything's gonna be all right. I want you to listen to my voice, close your mouth, get your breathing under control, okay? You're gonna be all right. Concentrate on something else. Focus on your feet, close your mouth, just put your finger on your mouth, and slow your breathing down, okay? And just breathe in and out through your nose. Well, that's good, now have a seat, okay? That's good, how do you feel now? I actually feel, mainly I feel very tired. And although I was only pretending to have a panic attack, I can feel my heart rate racing and I do feel quite exhausted. So one of the things that you may have to do for someone who's had a panic attack and is recovering is getting them a glass of water, allowing them a bit of space, getting them to rest, sometimes a cup of tea. All those things can really help keep someone calm.